day fellow youtubers this is the audio guild this is my first tutorial um, I am a member of the pad bank which is a Facebook sample drum pad users group and today I will be demonstrating how to utilize the MPC studio as a host VST inside of FL studio which will be the DAW so first you open your main DAW again it will be FL Studio and inside of the DAW I am going to take the VST implementation of the MPC Studio and place it inside of the channel rack as you can see the interface for the MPC Studio the software is what is contained in the VST the VST is inside of a wrapper which is native to FL Studio. I am going to detach this wrap wrapper from the main window and place it in the other window. And extend it to full view. So now the host DAW is open and the VST is inside the host DAW. VST in the wrapper we have to set a couple of configurations one is the audio out if we look at a pad mixer we will see that the mixer has a series of outs that you can output to if you look at a channel mixer again it's the same thing whatever the program goes out of you see the output track again there's a output track for programs and pads so now going to the VST wrapper settings I'm going to first establish the MIDI port settings I'll change it both input and output to zero then I will click the processing tab in that we will map the audio connections uh, you could go and manually just change each one I tend to auto map and then from there change them into sequential order so Okay, so now they're mapped and I will go back to the main interface of the VST and now I will load the project so instead of it as a standalone the file menu would be at the top it's in a collapsible menu in the VST so it's file load the project which will be the flip it six challenge okay so again to reiterate this is the pad mixer and this first channel or track contains a program which is the sample so the sample is broken up on several pads so uh, instead of changing each individual pad I'll change the actual program which will be output 1 and 2 Audi, audio now I'll go to the next track track 2 which is the drum sequence and again there are individual elements for the drum so as opposed to changing the overall program I change the individual pads so the kick is going out of three and four the snare is going out of five and six and the closed and open hi-hat will be going out of seven and eight and now if you focus on the host DAW kick is going out of three and four 
so this is one and two and if I again go back to track one and I just hit play in the host dog you see the sample is coming out of one so now <coughs> The transport on the host DAW controls the transport on the VST. As well, you can map the transport controls on the hardware interface and control from there. So again, I'm not going to click the mouse, I'll click play on the device and then stop. Now The tempo is set to 130 by default in the host DAW. If we go to the song area of the VST, we'll see that all of the sequences in the song have been set to 90. So in the host DAW, which is the master, it will we'll change that tempo to 90 to reflect the actual song creation. So the song was created outside of the host DAW and now to multi-track or track out your instruments to get a mix or master you would attach it to the host DAW and again because you have the multiple outputs you would track out your instruments. So now I'm going to play the sequence again in song mode I'm going to hit play. gentlemen how to utilize the MPC studio in a host DAW uh, I've experienced this with also Ableton and I'm due to try this same process with sonar uh, reason 9 does not accept VSTs but you can try to attempt to use external MIDI so I will be trying that as well and I will post tutorials of each one and offer the pros and cons of each. Thank you.